wind screaming off the hills out there. It's blowing its guts out, isn't it, Mark? Not ideal. <laughs> Not when you're trying to put the boat in the sea and do some fishing. We also left our food on the boat, didn't we, Charlie? Yeah. But novel this TV in the morning. Charlie jumped on and was straight on to the bloody cartoons. I uh, see the house now. I'm watching poor Henry. Flying, wind, wind, uh, uh, wind, up, wind on the west coast, some rain, bit of priest up out there. This shit's not too winning here. Oh, look, there's some kawa kawa. Here's another edible. These little plow, we can't actually eat it. Oh, you can actually, you can eat these little buds here when they get right. They're quite spicy and gingery. This is kawa kawa. It's a medicinal herb that the Maori's used for making Maori tea. I have to say mouldy. When I was a kid, everyone called them Marys and mouldies. Like as only there's a new PC thing. Us Marys call it call ourselves Marys. This, this is the mouldy. The mold. It's not mouldy actually. It's uh, not Mary mouldy. We can now I'm confused. Um, kawa kawa tea. It's good for you, bros. I don't know what it's good for. It's good for stomach ailments. It's good for diarrhea. It's good for all sorts of stuff. Now, apparently, the more holes in it the better. This one doesn't have too many holes in it, just one. But if you want really good kawa kawa tea, you get the one with the holes because that's what the caterpillars eat. It's the good shit. Blue skies. Look, I look stoned. I'm not baked, I just woke up, okay? <laughs> I just, I've had the cold coughing and stuff. But Sam Harrison gave me the cold when we went diving. I kept drinking out of his water bottle. And I said, stop drinking out of my water bottle. But I was drinking out of his water bottle. <laughs> Sorry, Sam, false accusations. I said, you gave me the cold. I actually got the cold off you. Take responsibility for my own shit. <laughs> I'm owning my own shit. It was my fault I got the cold. I choose to drink out of that water bottle, therefore, that's why I got the cold. Is that your good side? I think it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, let me have a look at the other side. Holy shit, they're both good. Colleen must be stoked. He's got two good sides. Not too sure what we're going to do today. It's blowing its guts out still. We just went out and got the chili bins. It's a marvellous day to be out at Catherine Cove at the Durville Island Wilderness Lodge. We might go muck around in the bush, do a bit of bushcraft. And Jace has just gone over to pick up Will and that magnificent new DNA. Oh, look at it. Look how smooth she rides. Blumenick went shopping in Nelson, countdown. Clear waters, cream top, honey yogurt, honey, uh, yogurt has gone off. It smells like, you know, stale butter when you get the butter that's gone rancid. And the blooming strawberries, strawberries are all rotten. First world problems. No, it's kind of like your box, Charlie, but good. <laughs> Just added a few more people into the mix. We got Glenn, Tommy. I think they both work for Jason. I know Glenn does, I know Tommy does. So grab him, Charlie. Grab him, grab him. Got to pull him out real gently, slowly. They're all burnt on the bottom and raw on the top. <laughs> Who's responsible for this mess? <laughs> Is that you, Will? Someone just kept piling meat on, didn't they, Jace? <laughs> It'll cook were, eventually, won't it? I thought you were bringing a bigger barbecue. Drop the knife either. Oh, yeah, yeah. It almost fell in. Can you hold this for me, Charlie? So what we're doing, we're just after the little fish that we want, little strips of bait, little strips of squid. Charlie, that knife's going to go. Any bites, Ready? Jazz? You hooked him? Got it, go. Crank it in. Oh, oi! All right. It's a brown cod. <laughs> Chop.
Midday has rolled around and the wind seems to be dying off. The ocean's flattening out a bit. We're going to be able to get out there and go fishing, but first we need to get some bait. Jason's got one of these new cast nets. None of us knows how to use it, so we're just going to try to figure it out ourselves. How's the fishing going there, team? I had a fish, but it got off. Oh, it got away, did it? Bugger, did you ever go out those piper? Getting some bites here, Charlie. I had heaps more bites. my rod. What? Someone hold this. I got my rod. I caught it. There go, there go. <laughs> Who caught it? I can't hold it. I'm I filming. Caught it. You caught it. Yeah. Uh, who's going to hold it? He's big. What's its name? Mrs. Santa Claus. Mrs. Santa Claus, that's a good name. Can you do it a bit more sexier, Jace? Can you show me how to do it? All right, it's time to pull the cast net out. No one wants to have a go. No one wants to look like an amateur on camera. I look like an amateur on camera all the time, so I think it's probably going to be up to me to throw the first stone. See how it goes. Oh wait, I think Mark's stepping up to the plate. Don't read the instructions, bro. <laughs> We already read the instructions when he got it and it said you're supposed to soak it for 12 hours. We've soaked it for 12 minutes so it should be good to go. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm rolling. Oh, that wasn't much of a throw. Oh, yeah, I'm tangling it. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Go like that. Oh, <laughs> crap. We're halfway there. It landed in the line. It didn't open up. Might have to think about this. We're going to YouTube. There's a lot of information to process. He's talking about braille and grabbing the horn and calling the net up three times and twisting and throwing it over your shoulder. Then you get this other line and throw that over your shoulder. It's all very confusing. Bloody hell. Been tied up and bound. <laughs> this is extremely complicated. We've come this far. We've followed the instruction and we've thrown that up there over his shoulder, grabbed the inside edge, thrown that over that shoulder. <laughs> then we've gathered half of the net, thrown it over this arm and then over that shoulder and now according to the video we watched it's just a simple process of chucking the net out and it lands in a perfect circle on top of the fish <laughs> oh look it's spread oh we cocked that one up yeah let's find an ugly old bloke to watch maybe we'll pay more attention what's what do you got char gurnard what is it gurnard a gurnard awesome eh we just had a slight distraction by charlie catching the gurnard We've watched another video of some Australian bloke showing us how to do it and I think, I think I might have it sorted. This is, I had five throws in my last throw, this is how it landed. That's not too shabby. Right on, I've had about 10 casts and I think I've got it sorted. We're now going to teach Mark in five easy steps how to cast one of these things. The first thing is, put this over your wrist so you've got the rope secured to you when you throw it. Nice, well, nice. Yeah. He's nailed it, man. It took me like 25 goes and Mark's nailed it in two. Should we go and uh, catch some fish, I think, before he yeah, loses the water. technique? <laughs> oh, he's cocked it up. <laughs> oh, if there was fish there, he'd, caught, he'd catch them. I don't know if there's any fish there. Maybe a couple of meters short. That was a good cast, good technique. We've just seen a massive school of piper right here. Mark's fluffing around trying to get the net ready. Everyone's yelling at him to hurry up. I'm, I'm the only one yelling actually. I had a couple in there, they all got out. Ended up with one mullet. Did a lot of effort for one fish. <laughs> I was... Jace just rowing out to put the mullet we caught in the live bait tank. Free need, eh? That bloody wind started to kick up again. I just showed Charlie how to put the knife just behind the gurnard's head, rip it out of the stomach and then you can peel the skin and the guts off in one easy step and you end up with this, just like that. You can throw that straight on a barbie, eh? Couple hours later, check it out, the wind's died down, the ocean's gone reasonably flat. Charlie's been 
chomping at the bit all day. Can we go fishing? Dad, can we go fishing? Dad, can we go fishing? Now we're going fishing. He's nowhere to be seen. He was up in the bush pig hunting, but I think he uh, heard me yelling. We're going fishing. He shouldn't be far away. Hey, there's the knife you dropped, Charlie. You gonna go get it, bro? I didn't drop it. Oh, that fell in. There's the knife that fell in. You gonna go get it? Do you want to dive down? No, I need my wetsuit. You need your wetsuit. Did you bring it? Nope. Well, this is pretty exciting for, for Will here. Will's just bought himself a DNA 570 XT hardtop. How awesome is that? <laughs> he hasn't been on it yet. Here where, it comes. Where do you want the dent? It doesn't matter if he dents it, bro. Our mate's got a boat building business. He can just <laughs> fix it for us. <laughs> How's it feel, Captain? <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> pretty, pretty exciting. Does your old lady know you bought one of these? Yeah, no. Oh, and a nose. Yeah. No warranty period. All right, we come up to French Pass on the jig. And the boys are straight into a kingfish in the green DNA. Wheels dropping here. There's some right on the bottom right there, eh? Look at that. Alright, we got a fish on here. Couple of kingies, got a double hook up. He started, oh, I dropped him. Bugger. Will's still on. She's got a bit of a huff on there, mate, eh? <laughs> Far up. Too fat, too Too much time on the horseback. Sitting in a farm truck. Well, he'd get Will out par hunting there, build his fitness levels up. <laughs> I hope it's not a rat kingy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to turn up the drag too much, because it's old mono. <laughs> it's last year's mono. Oh, is it? Last year's mono. <laughs> Bloody hell, and it's almost Christmas. <laughs> what sort is it? Must be black magic if it's still holding, is it? Oh mate, it's a good one. Still peeling line. That Shit, he's still taking thinking. plenty. What the heck? All right, got some colour coming up. Oh, he's half decent. He's half decent. You little beauty. There's some sashimi right there. Should we let it go, Charlie? Let him go? No. Dong him on the head? Yep. Oh, he's bleeding anyway, he's bleeding from his gills. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that will be because I hooked my finger into his gills when I pulled him into the boat. <laughs> Blim my neck. Oh, these boys are on over there too. Gee, this guy can't even fin there. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did mine hit yours? You got yours still? Yeah, I got mine. Oh, you got one on? All right, she's all on, like Donkey Kong. Come on, Tommy. Hold her in, buddy. Double hookup actually were on here. Will was just on, but it's got busted. This one's got a bit of punch. Boys are on in the other boat too. Oh, Tommy's working, working hard. They just seem to be in that one little pocket up there, eh? Yeah. One little. Oh, we got colour here. Either holding on to. That's a good one. Kingfish. Got it. Oh, I don't know. Look at him. He big head shakes. This feels like a massive snapper. Surely not. Look at that. His jiggles, though, eh? Is yeah. his tail beats? Must be. He must be bloody hooked on his tail, I reckon. Might have Vibrating a lot, though, eh? Yeah, it is. It's real weird. You had a couple of big dunk, dunk, dunks. We'll winch him in and find out. <laughs> Rip him up by his face. Yeah, <laughs> Change it down Let's again. Sink those fingers into his heels there. And... <laughs> hey, look at that. Dunk, 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 dunk. Why am I? Snapper. What do you reckon it is, Charlie? Ah, uh, no, 
Marlin. The Marlin. Uh, Alright, we're on the bloody trace. How long's your trace? What the hell? It's gotta be a kingy. His colour. Oh, his tail rat, that's what it is. Oh, hooked on the way, look! Oh! Jesus Christ! <laughs> there we go, he was hooked right in his tail. That's why it was thumping around so much. That was close. Look at the, he, he looked like look at the hook sitting straight in here, I was too, putting so much pressure on him. Oh. Cranking him up. Man, unreal. He looked like a big guy. Bugger. He was big. How you doing, buddy? What is it? You see any colour? Nope. Lift and drop. That's it. Lift it. Drop it. Nice. That's it. Keep going. Whoa. Whoa. We got. Here it is. Oh, nice. Kingy, bro. Shot. Want me to haul her in for you? Should we let it go? Is the keeper? Nah, it's just under, I reckon. Should we let it go? Should we see on the board? Alright, we'll slap her on the board. Luminette, get on the board there. So Jace has made his board 75 long. No, nah, we'll let him go away, he's just yeah. under. Shot, bro. Chair. Drop free down. Chair, oh no, don't drop it, we'll go back up. Chair. Careful, hold that rod. Look my neck. It's Rolling. Ah, oh, I dropped it. Oh, bugger. The <laughs> mark just hooked up. I said, don't pull her in yet. I'll grab the camera. I grabbed the camera and by the time I got it recording, it fell off the lure and back into the ocean. Catch and release. And these kingies oh. have got so much grunt. Oh, are you off, bro? Just stop. On again, off again. We're using black magic speed jigs. And just the other boys haven't had that many hookups, and me and Will have been just hooking up consistently. This is our probably eighth kingy now. Might keep another one if I can get into the boat. We've lost a couple. Oh man. Alright, he's close to I'm on the leader. Oh, I didn't check my leader after the last kingy actually. Right, there's some colour down there, Charlie. See it? Uh, that pink hook busted off and then just tied a new one straight on it, it's busted. He's a good fish. Okay. So here we go, that's the black magic lure, or jig. I probably caught about 15 fish, 20 fish on this thing. I just re-straightened the hook again because the last one, tail hook for some reason, straightened the hook out. I've even gotten a bit of a crack in there where I've been hauling into the boat using the jig. The old Lucky black magic pink speed jig for kingfish, an absolute winner. Get some, yeah, mate. You've only had your boat for about an hour, and the deck is already awash with blood. How awesome is that? Pretty good, been a good day. Hopefully, we'll get some snapper tonight, too. Eh? That's the plan. That's the plan. Slay them. What do you reckon, Charlie? Having a good day? Yeah, Charlie has had enough of watching us catch fish and has requested we go somewhere where he can catch fish. That was, it's cool how they just turn up, eh? Haul them in, Winch him up, buddy. Here, yeah, come around this way a bit. Got some colour. What's that? Got some colour. Oh, it's another kingy. Nice, that's it, winch him in. Winch, winch him in. Nice. Oh, good work, mate, good work. Wheels on again. Sweet. Good snapper bait, fresh car wash strips, strip baits. Your boy's got the burly out. Alright, we're off the mark, we've got it. we'll just move back again and see if we can get back on it. We're trying to get right in this burly trail. They're not happy about it. We'll try to make as little noise as possible. Are we in that burly trail now, you reckon? Look at the angle of it. We must be right there. Three repositions laid up, I think we're right on the money. What's this tangled on to? 
Are you guys stray lining? <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> yep, you're free. Pull her in. <laughs> Score. <laughs> what are you on there, Chief? Right. Probably a gappy car. Doesn't have much punch, does it? No. They'll come, though. We're not even allowed to eat blue cod, and there's bloody blue cod all over the place. Still not allowed to eat them until another week or something. I think we're going to go to one of the mussel farms and have a go there. There's good work up to birds over there. Car wire or something smashing the surface. And crop. I know. <laughs> and crop, Captain. Captain says we're not catching any bloody snapper, so we're going to come and up crop. with an alternative plan. <laughs> Troy Dando's on his way up from Nelson. He should be here in another hour. So yeah, Troy Dando. He'll put us on to the fish. What are you going to do? You're going to go get a pig for dinner? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> How was your day? Good? Yeah. What was your most favourite part? Kingfish. Catching that kingfish? Yeah. It was a good fight, wasn't it? And so ends another awesome day. I'm shagged, I tell you what, absolutely shagged. I'm going to get up early tomorrow too and go smashing fish. Luckily Troy Dando's here so we're going to get to go on his big boat so we can have a bit of a nap if we need to.